Welcome back everybody, I'm Lars and this is Heart of Iron 4 and this is going to be our second campaign and we're trying to Spain. I think that's going to be interesting because right now we are, you know, Republican Spain. But, um, you know, that might not last for too long because you can see here fascist and democratic and we have the communist part of course. And we are going to end up having a... Uh, yeah, there's going to be something pretty bad going on here because we will have. So we can go. Okay, let's let's have a look at this first. Yeah, we are going to have a civil war. We can go nationalism, right? Um. And so if we go collect collectivist and then nationalist militarism, we can end up with just going fascist. But we'll do the political effort right away because getting that means that we can take on a uh, guy just one of these um, political advisors and we can get um, fascist demagogue we want to make sure that fascists win we want to go fascist just because you know a lot more fun let's go with uh, research time reduction and the um, where is it? The uh, basic machine tools. That's good. Just always go with these things right away. Construction. That is good. Just get your construction. Get your machinery up and going. Uh, we want to make sure that we have a good infantry setup. It is 16. I'm going to try this uh, new group. Okay, so we don't have any tanks yet, so we'll wait. Um, you guys, the horses, you're useless. I'm going to just take all the horses. Ugh. Yes. Well, there's only that horse, so who cares? You just become an infantry, dude. Seriously. Yes. And... Uh, Means we can just get rid of these guys. I don't care about you. Why do we have another brigade? The well, that's smaller brigade. I want to, I want all of them to be proper divisions. So I guess we'll just go with that first. And the fact that they are this, they look the same. I don't like that. You just die. <laughs> yeah. So it's only like these three anyway. Let's just get rid of them. Make it simple for ourselves yes we need manpower that is fine not too much even and need some infantry stuff and everything there's none available that's fine no divisions are in basic trainings we will train some divisions and we'll put them in madrid just uh do a couple just get some guys out there Okay, constructions. We are not constructing anything right now. We want to start off by making some. Uh, no, not there. Let's just make a couple here. One there, one there. Just put down a couple of these guys right away. We don't have really <laughs> anything to use for construction here, so we, we need that right away. Insufficient resources. We'll do that. Deal with that later. We have some dockyards we aren't using, let's just, uh, yeah, this is going to take a while. Let's just do this so we know that we are using all of them. We have some more military factories, just uh, go all out on infantry equipment, I guess. Well, let's do eight. And get one more of these guys, one more of these guys, whenever we get some. It's going to take a while. And then we need some more stuff. We need some more oil. Alright, US, we will trade you some oil. We don't have much, but that should be all we need right now. Okay. And ugh, turn this off. Uh, yeah, this is probably fine. So, we, I, I haven't tried this yet. I have never tried playing through the Civil War. I don't know what's going to actually happen here. So, you are basically a bit fascist, a bit communist, and mostly non-aligned. I think Portugal is something we need to eat. 
Like, this area should be ours. And we'll take Gibraltar and then we'll start eating our way through uh, France when the proper war starts. Insufficient intel. Oh, that's probably down here. Uh, this is fine, this is good. Let's just go speed 5, just push through the first stages here. And add more. Let's just get some units. We have some factories, yeah. <sighs> Problem is right now we are on volunteer only, that's not good. Civilian economy, not great. And uh, we're export focus focused, that's probably fine, I don't know. Spanish election. Okay, so Second Republic has proven to be a fragile existence. Yeah, uh, no shit. Can we present with backing of the Popular Front, a broad coalition of left-wing groups supported by Republicans, Communists and Anarchists. With the right-wing opposition encompassing Conservatives, Monarchists and Fascists. Yeah. Okay, so we will then unite the groups, which means that now we should have a fascist dude, yes, and then we need to make sure that the fascist thingy here changes like rapidly. We need to make sure that it actually stays like that. Uh, but the thing is, right now we can, well, oh. Yeah, the Rhineland has been taken back. Oh, and we need to stop that. Right. We can set the national focus. Now, going down here, right? This will... Means that democracy will start decreasing. Uh, then we do nationalist thingy that will make... That will basically cement na um, fascism. So that might actually be enough. So, we'll do this now, we'll hold off on, <sighs> should we burn one of our guys here and uh, start, yeah, just in case we get the, um, <laughs> Franco, just in case we actually do get the, um, <sighs> the civil war I want as much of the country as possible to be fascist, basically. So, we're going to take all the guys that are here. Right, you are going to now just be a thing. We're going to have a guy. You really, really suck, don't you? Let's just make a couple new commanders and... Like this. Oh, that actually used all of it. Okay, whatever. All of you, you're basically useless. I don't want to use you just yet. And you are going to start just garrisoning. Like the whole thing if you can. Oh. Ah. Really? Yeah, of course that's what I wanted. So actually, this is something that happens a lot in Paradox games. For some reason you are able to... Uh, Click this stuff. Take all my navies and oh, perhaps even put them over here. Uh, yeah, you are able to click things that are not relevant at all. Right. All of you guys, uh, just uh, yeah, hang out in Barcelona for now. We might get a civil war going, that's fine, we are going to, uh, we are recruiting a lot of people here. Uh, this is not happening. We have the manpower, we don't have the equipment, really, that's the problem. Uh, and we can't really stop making these things either, so, well. Fill our needs in 184 days, yes, good, nice. <laughs> We do have a couple fighters. I think we'll just set reinforcement to everything. We want everything here anyway, so... Not that we will actually have any, but... Yeah, you, 
just go here. They're basically crappy crappy fighters, but it doesn't matter. Just be here. Oh, and missing equipment production. Wait, what are we missing? Fighters. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Um, just say that we're going to build some. Just so you stop whining. <laughs> We're not actually going to build any, but who cares? Speed 5, full speed ahead. Oh, and we should probably as well add you to that thing. And we have new research that is awesome. So this also cuts down on research time. This increases reinforce rate, but I think. Now we need this. It's great. It is great. Civil War has not fired, <laughs> which is also great. But there it happens, yeah. So, peaceful election of uh, blah 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 blah. The lines have been drawn. Which faction should we support? The nationalists. To victory. Oh. <laughs> Don't do that. Alright, so we need to. Uh... Okay. Our. Okay, so we... this is now our thing here. Damn it! Okay, all of you into this army. And we don't really have any anyone here that's good. It's actually 26 dudes. What? Well, I guess we are going to promote you then. Yeah, you're going to be a field marshal. That's probably fine. Airwings with no mission. These guys are all going to go to uh, this place. And all going to go here and well, yeah, do air superiority. Just have the air superiority. I don't know if it's going to matter at all, but who cares? So our guys were garrisoned everywhere. That's fine, but we are going to have to draw up. Yes, a front line over here, first of all, and then we'll have to bum rush this area like right away. We'll have to just, you know, uh, you over here, and then one of you guys just uh, go here, you over here, you over here. We'll have to get this area quickly, I think. Oh, you have your order, don't you? 26 divisions, yeah. So you should then start redeploying. You guys will deploy up here. I don't know if there are any people out here. Uh, just in case I want to take you guys straight for Barcelona first. Just to see if that works out. And then you as well just try to hold that thing. Ooh, that was kind of cool. <laughs> cool. Alright, so straight into the action, I guess. Let's see how this works out. Of course, we, we have no idea how many people these guys have. 29 to 47. Okay, so they have more than we have. We are at war. Um, hey, Germany. Buddy, 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 buddy. Uh, should have probably done that before we went to war. Yeah. Send volunteers, of course. Thank you. Volunteer forces will uh, come and help me out. Hopefully, it goes better than when I tried to help Germany out. It did not end that well. I think um, for you. 
I think the first offensive line should be drawn here just to cut them off here. You should push through there. And then we'll do like so and get Madrid, right? So we'll, we won't actually assign anyone to this one yet, I think. Yeah, well, maybe at least you guys should be assigned to this instead you will have to stay there we don't have really enough divisions right now to properly properly deal with this you are going to walk through there aren't you bastard well, there's a lot of them there is a lot of them we might have to give up on this area pretty quickly just get a fallback line set up uh, you are going to try to... I don't know how many people are here. <sighs> okay, so this is this is not great, I guess. Are we still recruiting people? Yeah, we are. Uh, Burgos, and you will just... Just go straight into this thing. Alright. Yeah. And... You don't have proper equipment. Just go. Just go. Just go. We need people. We need bodies. Really. That's the thing. We just need bodies. You are the three fresh guys. I guess I'm going to just assign you to this front line. Spread out. Help out. We are going to have to get, have some gains right now. That's the thing. We need some gains right away. Uh... Just to make sure that we really hurt them early on. Get territory, get factories back. There was no missions, really. Yeah, but you are a naval bomber. You are... Sure, just... If you can find anything there, sure. Uh, if you are able to find any boats in this area, like on the mainland, please, just uh, deal with them. Why are you attacking? You should not be attacking all of you guys. Just hang out for a while. Chill. Right? Yeah, so this is the problem. They are trying to over overrun us down here. That cannot stand. But we need to be able to spread out here. And we need to be able to take this. Other dude, you are going through here. You are going here, right? right go here. We will get some volunteer forces, so that's good. I don't know if pushing here is going to be a good thing. But I think so. I think trying to push this area, get the border here so we don't have this long ass border. Uh, and try to get this right away. That should help us. At least cut these bastards off. Oh, seriously? They might have actually retreated from this area right away. Okay, go around here, then do your thing. You go through here, and then you do your thing. Just get this stuff back. Yeah, you are also going through here. You, you should only need to go through here. Okay, okay, okay. And the problem right now, we don't have any infantry equipment. And maybe I should have converted a lot of guys to the simpler things instead. Yeah. <laughs> Disadvantage, no crap. Okay, so we are not going to be able to do a decisive push here. So we'll. Pull those guys back, they should start, when you put them back to this line, they should start spreading out a bit, I think. 
right? No? Okay, at least get a couple of guys spread out. We need to be able to occupy the whole line here. And when these guys are done, they will return to the front line. Which means we have taken the northern part. That makes everything seem much more reasonable. Uh-huh, you as well. Really. And you. Are you going to be able to just redeploy here? Do we have the navy still? How's the navy looking? Could we maybe... Oh. Navy. Like all of you. Uh, go merge. All of these things. You need to search and destroy in... God damn it. Search and destroy here. Basically that's where they have any coast. So we'll do that. That should help out a little bit, maybe. Just get that thing there so we can redeploy some stuff. Just redeploy and join this damn line. Both both of you as well. Just join this damn line. And the push here will be these 19 divisions, right? This is the important push. I think instead of having both of these, I think we will then edit this and just... I want to delete this order. We will have to try to do this first. G if we are able to get them in here, just get the damn coast. We should be fine. They are trying to advance, but... I think us being able to get our troops back up will help out immensely. You are... where? There. Really? Why don't you instead just go join these guys? You should then start playing, right? Yeah. Good. Anyone else? Nobody slacking off? That's good. I'll just keep this as one big army for now. Uh, might have been better just splitting them up, but we'll see how this goes, really. Enemy has air superiority. Huh. Well, it happens. Not much we can do about that, I guess. Combats. Those are convoys. So we are hitting their convoys. That's good. They will have a hard time trying to trade. Okay, before I uh, take a break here, I'm going to check. Um, we have a lot of surplus of oil. We're importing a lot of it. Uh, are we using it for anything right now? Not really. These guys, I'm going to just... Nah. Won't do anything, really. Just won't do anything. Collectivist ethos was probably not the most useful, but... Well, I'll take it. This should cut them off from any external supplies, except from through France. Will we actually be able to influence France? Well, no, we don't want them to be uh, fascist. That would be bad. But having like you guys maybe from the other side just be sort of a distraction. Can I? Uh, they're at point one. Like over a hundred days, over like one year. That should actually push them fascist. But it will cost me a quarter of a point, and that is. It's not worth it, I think. Yeah, you go away. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a break here. And I'll, uh, well, I hope you like this campaign. And uh, I think it should be interesting. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.